Heat is a 1995 crime drama film written and directed by Michael Mann. It features an ensemble cast led by Al Pacino and Robert De Niro, with Tom Sizemore, John Voight, and Val Kilmer in supporting roles. The film follows the conflict between an LAPD detective and a bank robber who has built his career on many heists, while also depicting its effect on their professional relationships and personal lives. Here she got a great ass! You ready to do something profoundly stupid? There's no doubt that Grand Theft Auto V is a game about heists. Please don't make me ruin all the great work your plastic surgeons have been doing on the floor now! Grand Theft Auto V is a 2013 action-adventure game developed by Rockstar North and published by Rockstar Games. The Grand Theft Auto series has sold over 370 million copies across the globe. Grand Theft Auto V, the second most selling video game after Minecraft. It is also the fastest entertainment release to earn $1 billion. It is the highest selling game of the decade in the USA as well, with it making approximately $15,000 every 10 minutes. Previous entries in the series always seem to take heaps of inspiration from movies and pop culture, anything big in the media to influence their work. Grand Theft Auto V is no exception. The 1995 movie Heat is the main inspiration for this game with it being focused around heists throughout the story. Here's all the main references I could find. Number 1. The story mission Blitz play is almost identical to the beginning heist in the movie. The whole game mission uses the same approach to the heist as in the movie. They use a public service vehicle to distract a security truck so that they can ram it off the road. Sanitation aren't meant to be here today. You better brace yourselves, you motherfuckers! In both the game and the movie, they proceed to blow open the back door of the security truck, which deafens the security team. Now, now! Move it! My fucking ears! I'm fucking deaf, you complete prick! Clean out the van, I got the guards. The alarm's been tripped. The cops will be swarming here in ten seconds. You better run! Get back! Get back! Get back! Hey, Slick, see that coming out of their ears? They can't hear you. Cool it! In the game, you have the option of executing the guards. Just like how it's done in the movie. Run! Shut the fuck up! I saw that, man! Ice cold! <laughs> The only difference being the getaway. In the movie they use stingers to slow down the police whilst they escape, whereas in the game the player has to go through a shootout until the police numbers drop so they can flee the scene and destroy any evidence. They're fitted out! This could be our chance to go! Okay. I'll deliver the bonds! F! You dump the trash truck! Hey man, shit, you look after yourself, dog, alright? many people know about this reference. But the relations to the movie do not just stop at this one mission. 
it is seen throughout the game. Number 2. In the mission, the Bureau raid another reference to the first heist in Heat can be found. This is triggered if you decide to choose the loud option and select the best getaway driver for the mission. One detail I left out of the first heist in Heat is that the crew uses the ambulance as the getaway from the robbery, removing masks and gear to reveal they are in paramedic uniforms, similar to how you escape in this mission for Grand Theft Auto V. The driver will be waiting outside on getaway. They'll source a vehicle, so bear that in mind. Eddie Toe, now you can count on him to get you out of a spot. Come on! The driver's meeting us out front, right? Ah. Go cash your pension! Run or get clapped! Shit. Oh. Not what we came oh. for. You guys make an honest killer like me ah. sick! This is not good! Where's our getaway? Hey, I'm here! Hey, get an ambulance, come on! In! In! Before they see us! Don't discharge your weapons! We want them to think we're a legitimate paramedic crew! Hey, that was a good call on the ambulance, Eddie. I saw what was going on in the Bureau, man. I wasn't gonna drive up in something obvious. That's the thinking we pay you to do. Number 3. The Grand Theft Auto V character. Lester Crest is based on the character of Kelso from Heat. They both act as advisory roles planning and getting scores ready for their crews. This is most likely why Lester is seen having mobility issues, using a cane and wheelchair throughout Grand Theft Auto V, to further resemble the character of Kelso. This stuff just flies through the air. They send this information out. I mean, it's just beamed out all over the fucking place. All I have to do is know how to grab it. See, I know how to grab it. Here, take this uh, fashionably retro weird for a 45-year-old man, but I cannot let go of the 1980s bag, and dress yourself up like a billionaire math genius with low-level Asperger's. You better be ready for the minor glitch of your repulsive pseudo-messianic life. Okay, Lester. Get out of here! Call me when you're ready. We are about to put the Darwinism back in social Darwinism. And brother, it is gonna be fun. You fucking kidding me? I'm a bank robber, not a web designer. So we'll go robbing soon. I'll find something. Just like the old days. Number four. The character Michael in Grand Theft Auto is based off of Neil in Heat. Further proven by the ability to change the style of Michael at the barbershop to look even more like Robert De Niro in his role. Michael can also be seen wearing a similar suit. Number 5. I threw this one in as it's not a direct reference but a similarity that many people have found across Twitter and Reddit. In the loud approach to the Grand Theft Auto V mission, the big score. The shootout that ensues have led people to speculate it was inspired by the bank shootout in Heat, but I will leave this point to the opinion of the viewer. That's all the references I could find to Heat in Grand Theft Auto V. Let me know in the comments if I missed anything out. And make sure to drop a like on the video if you found it entertaining. I'll see you all in the next video. Are good. Alright? Wow. You are one serious fucking buzzkill.